I'm Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. And today you're going to... Watch. Us. Eat. And as an added bonus, we're also going to drink. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Tasty. <laughs> so today we're drinking and eating Dogfish Head's Sea Quench Ale. It's a session sour. It's brewed with lime juice, uh, lime peel, black limes, and sea salt. And it's a go-to definitely for barbecues over the summer. I mean, it's the dead of winter now, but it's still like the number one. Still enjoyable. <laughs> still the number one sour beer across the U.S. So today we are using Dogfish Head's Sea Quench Ale to eat Sea Quench Ale mussels. It smells awesome, and I think and the rest of the office too. could agree because we just stank up the entire <laughs> office making this. So um, what this dish is, it's actually sold at Chesapeake and Maine, which is Dogfish Head's seafood restaurant um, located in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. And their chef sent us over this recipe and big fans of the beer, big fans of mussels, so we figured let's... Perfect harmony. Let's marry them. Yep. Let's do this. So, Lauren. All right. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. And the great thing about this dish is that we all know seafood has been on the rise. Prices are up everywhere. But mussels are, in fact, they haven't been rising as quickly as other species um, just because the supply hasn't been so constrained. So it's a great recipe to, to take advantage of now. Especially with, uh, I mean, this is uh, coming up right before uh, the Feast of Seven Fishes. Or Feast yep. of Seven, not Just Feast of, Feast of Fishes? What is it called? Feast of the Seven Fishes. Feast, Feast Feast of the Seven <laughs> Fishes. Um, so yeah, it's uh, since I it cost me an arm and a leg to buy crab meat the other day. So right, I'm, gotta get the I'm broth. More, oh, okay, gotta get gotta get the juice in there. So this is made with, and we're gonna have the recipe actually in our upcoming issue of Erna Berry's Reporter. Sorry, I dove in too fast. I couldn't wow. wait. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's I'm usually more of a clams mm. girl. That's really good. That broth. Um, yeah, so this calls for Maine mussels, uh, Chesapeake and Maine. Um, the founder of Dogfish Head is uh, a big fan of Maine. His family had a house um, up there over the summer. And then his wife is actually from the, the Chesapeake Bay, uh, Bay Area, which is why you get this name. Um, so that's why they call for Maine mussels. We don't have that around us right now, so we went with PEI mussels. Um, but you get the gist of it. Um, we also used, uh, in addition to the sequin ale, we had uh, some vegetable broth. Uh, there was some red pepper, cilantro, shallots, garlic. You said the lime juice? Lime juice. Mm -hmm. um, they call for key lime juice. And like I said, this recipe is going to be in the upcoming issue of The Reporter. So if you're Don't not subscribed, out. yes. Mm -hmm. If you're not subscribed, go to uh, earnerberry.com slash reporter to get your copy. I'm going to dive back into these. So what's good about this is that you get like the extra like salt from here. Like it's just like you get the lime, the, the extra lime juice that's in here, and then the lime from the beer. Right. Yeah. It, it marries really well. Um, and making this recipe, it was super easy. Usually mm. seafood dishes are a little intimidating, but this, I mean, prep time was what? 15, 20 minutes? Lauren's saying that because she didn't help at all. <laughs> so yes, but prep time I was 15 minutes. Moment. And the fact that I could do it by myself, usually Lauren helps me for making something. So the fact that I didn't need her at all, you know what? And Amanda isn't the cook in this relationship either. <laughs> no, it usually usually it is Lauren. Um, but these are these are fantastic. And actually, like I said, with the Feast of Seven Fishes coming up, I think this is probably a, a good addition to the menu. If you can keep Dogfish Head Sea Quench Ale around long enough, it calls for half a cup. I think, uh, like I said, I was talking to the founder, um, Sam Calgione, for the issue of Erna Berry's Reporter, and my joke with him was that, like, I never just have a beer lying around. Usually if I'm cooking with a beer, it's terrible, but I use one that I don't <laughs> want to drink because it's like, I'm like, oh, I don't want to I'm not drinking it. this beer, but yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to cook with it. Uh, but it does make more does. sense to cook with a, a good beer because if you enjoy the beer, you're obviously going to oh, yeah. enjoy what you're, uh, you're making with it. Yep. Thanks for watching us eat. And uh, hopefully we'll be back here watching us eat some more stuff. Cheers. Cheers.